In this video, I'm going to talk about how to produce a figure from SPSS in such a way that it can have a high resolution and allow a production team at a journal to produce a publication with really high resolution results from your study. And so here's an example of a chart that I created in SPSS. It's a, this is a factorial within subjects ANOVA, and I've got plot of the means with uh, confidence intervals. And this is a high resolution image when you just look at it this way. But all too often what you'll want to do is put it into your manuscript. And I suspect people do a combination of things. They'll click on, they'll right click on the image and they'll copy as, and they'll take it as an image, a graphics object, or an EMF file. And then they'll embed that in the Microsoft, in the Word document, whatever Word document you might be using. And that produces less than great imaged uh, results. And here's an example of a publication of mine where I use that methodology. And you can see that it's very fuzzy around. And the production team at the journal knows this. And they'll make comments about, well, the DPI is not high enough. Can you produce it in 300 DPI or 600 DPI? And there's no option in SPSS to actually specify a DPI for a chart, not that I know about anyway, but you don't actually have to deal with that. So my recommendation is to not do the copy and save. Instead, you can do something that you can get a chart like this in a manuscript. So this is the same journal that I published with getting, look at how high resolution that is. It's razor sharp resolution in this publication. And so it blows away this, which is fuzzy edges. So how do you get that? Well. Instead of right-clicking and copying as, you need to export the figure. And when you click on export, you'll get options. And the default might be something like web report, I think. But what you want is none. You just want the graphics of this image. And then go down here and click on one of two options. EPS, I think, is the best option, based on my experience uh, with publishing, is to save it as an EPS file and then just save it in a folder somewhere on your computer and then when you're in either the production process or even when you're uploading the manuscript for publication there might be an option to upload images so during the production process the best time to liaise with the journal and give them a folder of all the images that you saved as EPS files so this is where I saved all my EPS files for the figures figure one and then figure two and three, because I had multiple figures in the same uh, figure for that journal. And that's basically the trick. Simply export the image as an EPS file, and you will get very high resolution images in your publication, as good as any other program out there. I don't know a program that does even better resolution than this. And so this counters this argument that I hear from time to time that it's not possible to create publication quality graphs in SPSS are not true. You really just have to export it as an EPS file. And if your journal that you're publishing with doesn't want to work with EPS files, there's a chance they'll want, prefer to work with a PDF file. So you can actually export your charts in SPSS into a PDF format, which might be something the production team can work with and produce very high resolution images in your next article. So that's a tip export as EPS files or export as PDF files and you will produce very high res images that the production team can work with.